大家好，我是凯文。这个周末的英超联赛将会上演莫西塞德俊德比。那么今天这一视频呢，我请来了一名非常特别的嘉宾，他是埃弗顿队董事会的一名老朋友，也是资深的业内人士。今天呢，我来和他聊聊比赛，也来聊聊曾在埃弗顿队效力的中国球员李铁。When a Chinese football fan thinks of Everton, we think of、uh, Li Tian. And if I'm not mistaken, you were one of the board members at Everton when Li Tian was playing there. Well, I saw, <laughs> the board used to invite me to the game. It was it was more like I had friends in high places, and it meant that、um, you know we gossiped over lunch. So I, I kind of I knew a lot of things that were going on at the club. I remember well. Well, the most important thing for Everton at the time was that we, we are always up against the fact that everybody in the world knows about Manchester United, and sadly, they also know about Liverpool, which is our the other team on in the city. And so, fighting for profile is always difficult. And then we came across Li Tai and、um, and his compatriot from China. Um, and they joined the club not just、uh, as players, but as ambassadors in many ways from China, because they were amongst the first players to come to this country.、Mm. Um, and so we were looking and thinking, are, are these guys going to be genuinely good footballers, and particularly Thai? Are is the standard of Chinese football going to be good enough to play in the Premier League? And we soon found out, because we got tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, almost overnight. Uh, of people in China who were looking for Everton's results and contacting the club, buying the shirt. None of that would have mattered if Li Tai wasn't good enough to play in the team. We have an expression in English, Kevin.、Um, he was a water carrier, so he wasn't the he wasn't the goal scorer. He wasn't the midfield creative genius. He was the guy who was always on hand to pick the ball and take it to other places on the pitch. And he also. For a for a slight man, he has a slight frame, or did when he played football for us. He could tackle. He he could tackle like a, a road truck. You know, he bang into the opposition trying to get the ball, and and for that reason, we you know there were lots of reasons we loved him. That was one of them. Did you notice、uh, anything that's changed after、uh, his time at Everton? Well, look, we all became very aware that.、Uh, Football, soccer was was popular in China. That changed. We didn't know that. We it opened our minds、uh, to the possibility of players coming from different parts of the world. Everton is a very traditional football club. You know, we are called sometimes the originals, the、yeah. first twelve professional teams to to give the world football. Everton was at the heart of it, and we famously had more British players than any other Premier League team. Yeah. And then came the time,、mm. and thereafter, our minds were open to the fact that actually our values—roll、uh, your sleeves up, hardworking, grafting values—they just they weren't just from Liverpool;、mm. uh, they were from all over the world. And since then, lots of players from overseas have come to Everton. And that way, that's down to Lee Tai. Talking about that, the Merseyside derby, which has、uh, become. A very international event、uh, in recent recent years, and it's coming this Saturday. I think it's fair to say that the two teams have been quite far apart in terms of league positions in the previous few seasons. And now that you're seventh in the league, only three points off Liverpool in sixth place, would you say that this is the biggest Merseyside derby in recent years? <laughs> you know, I, I always say this: there's nothing bigger than the sun, and the sun never changes. It's always huge. On Merseyside, this is the biggest day of the year. If you were to say to people on Merseyside on the day of the World Cup final, would you rather watch Everton play Liverpool or Brazil play Italy? We would say Everton play Liverpool. But in terms of impact on the league, yes, because we need this win. I, my mother and I, my mother is nearly ninety years old, and this evening, this evening, she's already texted me three times.、Ooh. What will the team be? <laughs> What do I think is going to happen? Who will play well? Who won't play well? Because it's all we think about. What's your prediction for Saturday's versus our derby? <laughs> My prediction is that someone will be sent off. Oh, really?、Uh, it, it has had, more players have been sent off in this fixture than any other fixture in England in the history of the game. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I would say someone will be sent off. I would say VAR 
will disallow a goal for Everton. And if we score twice, we will win 2-1. But if we don't score twice, we will lose 3-0. So <laughs> that's my prediction. But the, the other thing, you know, that is interesting is that both Liverpool and Everton are very, very tired. Yes. It may well be that these guys slug it out for a nil-nil draw. And actually, now I've reflected on it, Kevin, I'm going to go with that. Nil-nil. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. Good luck with it. And hello to everybody. And Lee Tai is watching. How are you doing, Lee? We miss, <laughs> you. We miss you. Come home. We will show him this.